So in this video, I'm gonna review every single new ultimate team on the season card and tell you which ones you should get for your team and which ones, which ones you should avoid. So make sure to like the video if you're excited and subscribe to my channel for more from Vault 22 contents. I'm gonna start off with one one overall players and I'm gonna end with 98s of course. So first of all, we're gonna one one overall Benzema Faustar Recruit for our skin was obviously an incredible, incredible card. Second striker skill boost, insane shooting, finishing shot power, positioning. He's got good dribbling. He's pretty strong as well if you got a lot of coins and if you are paid to win and you can get him definitely a very very nice choice then we go one on one overall de bruyne again it's gonna be very very expensive for pay to win players but false are recruit force our skill monster probably one of the best sentiments if not the best sentiment already in this game region skill boost not the best because who is gonna be the best but definitely one of the best sentiments you can get once again incredibly expensive but a great card then we go one on one overall Lewandowski, similar type of player as um, as Benzema, fast are weak foot, force are skill moves, good pace, great shooting, great agility, great physical gain, another incredible card, but expensive. One hand overall Saladin, he's got fast are weak foot, fast are skill moves, 117 pace, 116 shooting, 105 passing, 120 agility, 90 physical, free to play players can't get him either, I can't get one hand overalls either, so it's for pay to win, but if you can get him, definitely do so. One of the best right wingers you can get. Uh, he's got speed skill boost as well. Followed nine tall, high medium mock rates, incredible card for Salah as well. Mbappe, Mbappe, we all we all know how good Mbappe is all the time. Faster recruit, faster skill boost once again. One sixteen pace, one seventeen shooting, one sixteen agility, one hundred physical ninety, one hundred passing, ninety one physical second striker skill boost once again. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be as expensive as one one overall card, but it's gonna be still very, very expensive because free to play players cannot get him as well. Then one hand overall, one dyke, one of the best center backs already in the game, 100 pace, uh, 96 passing, 95 agility, 122 defending, 116 physical, marking skill boost is six foot four tall, medium high work rates. Before he had medium, medium, so that medium high work rate change is massive as well. It's got power headed trade, long pass trade as well. So yeah, obviously. What, what, what can you say about that card, right? About this high overall card. So then we go one hand overall. Mainyan, reflexes, skill boost, and incredible goalkeeping stats. And Mainyan's, ca Mainyan's card, cards have always been overpowered. So this is gonna be even better one, of course, because it's not one hand overall ultimate team listen. So one of the best goalkeepers in the game already. Then we're getting into 99 overall players. And 99 overalls are free to play, of course. First of all, we go 99 overall in Kunku. Fast star recruit, four star skill most great shooting, passing, and agility, decent physical as well. If you need the cam, then I would suggest getting him. If you are going around the 99s, and if you if you are using a formation with cam position in it, then this Enkunku card is gonna be one of the best cams you can get. Counter skill boost, um, high medium work rates, five foot ten tall, finish shot and outside foot shot rates. It's gonna be so smooth, so good on the ball. Definitely worth to get if you are using a cam cam formation as I said. Then we got 99 overall Trent Alexander Arnold, four star recruit, uh, 107 pace, 117 passing, 115 agility, 105 defending, 91 physical. Pretty decent right back once again, but he's not, in my opinion, he's not one of the best ultimate team of the seasons you can get. His pace is not good enough, in my opinion. His physicality is decent for right back, 88 strength is all right, not that great. His passing is insane, on the ball is gonna feel decent, but in my opinion, if, in my opinion, if you are choosing one of the 99 overall cards, I wouldn't really choose Trent Alexander-Arnold. So that's just my choice, though. Then we've got 99 overall Marquinhos, 102 pace, 119 defending, 110 physical, good passing and agility as well. And he's got power header, team player and long passer traits. Incredible card, would 100% suggest getting him if you need a good center back. And same thing with Hernandez. This, this card is one of the best lot backs you can get. 116 pace, 105 passing, 117 agility, 100 phys physical, 100 defending, 101 physical reaction skill boost. Will 100% suggest getting this card? It's, this is gonna be insane, insanely good lat back going up and down. How many more credits? Six foot tall. Yep. Then we've got 98 overall players and quite a few, of course. These are the reserves. First of all, 98 overall human son. Already reviewed this card. Loved it, loved him a lot. Five star record, four star skill moves. Would 100% suggest getting this card as well. Obviously, all the ultimate team of the season players are very, very good, but there are some 98 overall ultimate team of the season that I wouldn't really suggest you to get, um, or I wouldn't suggest them to get them over the other options. 
Bahyun Son, like, he's he's too good. He scored, like, four goals or five goals. I think uh, in the match I reviewed him. Yeah, short passing skill was but incredibly good card. If you are choosing 98 overall, ultimate team on the season reserve, he should be one of the best. One, he should be one of the first ones that you should choose. Then we go 98 overall Berardi. Obviously a decent card. Um, but out of all of the 98 overall cards, I wouldn't really ch choose him to be honest. I came up against him once. His pace is not. It's the, it's all right. It's not that great though. If you get him as a right mid, he's gonna be great. But I wouldn't choose him over some other 98 overall op options such as Hyun Min Son. Then we got 98 overall left back Joao Cancelo, 107 pace, 4 star record, 4 star skill most, good stats, uh, pace skill most. If you need a good left back then I guess he's gonna be one of the better ones, uh, but obviously Deo Hernandez 99 is a lot better and out of all the 98 overall players I wouldn't really choose Joao Cancelo either. Then we got 98 overall Kimmich, not a lot of people that are using um, a CD information. If you are using a CD information though, definitely, definitely uh, you should try him out. A little bit short, but incredibly good, well-rounded card. If you are in need of a CDM, definitely get him. Then 98 overall Courtois. Courtois, he's 6 foot 5 tall, no 6 foot 6, sorry. He's got number one skill boost, incredibly good goalkeeping stats, and he's always been good in this game. So if you need a good goalkeeper, and if you can't get Maignan from, uh, from the main ultimate team on the season starter, Courtois is a very very nice option as well. Um, then we've got 98 overall Koulibaly, a very very nice centre back. 101 pace, 115 defending, 113 physical, uh, defending skill boost, medium high work rate, power headed trait, and six foot two tall. What can I say? Very very nice centre back right there. If you need a centre back, Koulibaly is a very very nice choice. If you have a Serie A team, definitely worth to get. Then we've got 98 overall Modric. And he's got five star record, four star skill most, very, very well rounded stats for a centre mid. Um, he's got vision skill boost, would 100% suggest getting this. This is probably one of the better, uh, one of the better now ultimate team on the season reserve cards you can get as well. Um, high, high work rates, only five foot eight tall, but his overall stats. He can play as a cam, he can play as a CDM, he can probably play as a striker as well. His shooting is good enough. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, great card for Modric, well-rounded. Uh, then we've got 98 overall, Ben Yedder. I believe the first striker that we've got uh, for 98 overall cards. Fast are record, force are skill moves. Reviewed him as well. Not, in my opinion, he's not better than uh, Hyunmin Son. But if you need a striker, definitely you're, uh, definitely, it, it would not be a bad, bad choice pretty much. But I think uh, there are so many good strikers that I would suggest you to get one of the other positions uh, left mid, right mid, center mid, one of those positions because yeah, as I said, there are a lot of strikers you can choose from. Then we got 98 overall Ruben Diaz and he's got great card as well, tackling skill boost, he's 6 foot 2 tall, medium high work rates, would 100% suggest getting this card if you need a great center back. Out of him and Koulibaly, I would definitely choose Ruben Diaz as well. But if you have a Serie A team uh, and if you're in the chemistry, then I guess Koulibaly should be your choice. But yeah, Ruben Diaz, in my opinion, is better. Then we've got 98 overall Rafael Leao, reviewed him, love that card a lot. 5 star record, 4 star skill moves, would 100% suggest getting this card as well. 6 foot 2 tall, high medium work rates, felt great on the ball, felt fast, very, very strong, and had everything pretty much. So yeah, great choice for you if you're going for him. 98 overall Chua Mani then. 3 star record, 3 star skill most, but great, great CDM card right there. Holding skill boost, 6 foot 2 tall, high, high work rates, long passing skill boost. As a CDM, he's very tall. Um, but yeah, if you if you are using a CDM formation for your worst attack team, then um, I guess you can choose him. But I will choose other players above him, in my opinion. I will choose some other players, uh, other positions above him. But yeah, incredibly good CDM still. Then we got 98 overall Bellingham. Uh, he's got 4 star record, 3 star skill most, very very well rounded card of course once again, interception skill boost, he's 6 foot 1 tall, he's got high high work rates, dives into tackle trade, look at those stats, as I said, incredibly well rounded, not as good shooting as Modric, but uh, physically and defensively he's, he's better than Modric I believe, defensively as well, right? 
yeah, defensively and physically he's better than Modric. I feel like Modric is still a little bit better center mid though because on the ball he's gonna feel incredibly good. His passing is gonna be better. So out of Modric and Bellingham, I think I would choose Modric. And last but not least, we go Lucas Paqueta. Horse are record, force are skill, most decent stats, but I, I wouldn't choose him. I wouldn't choose him out of all the 98 overall players. Anyways, this was it for today's video. Please make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more and peace.